Welcome to 5007 Van Size. This beautiful Albany home has been lovingly renovated. You've got a huge circular driveway around the front. It sits pretty far back off the road. You've got mature magnolias and pecan trees. Let's take a look inside. You've got a gorgeous painted exterior, custom shutters built for the outside, a small covered porch area here. Another look out the front. And we'll head in. All right, as you enter the front door area, you'll immediately notice the updated staircase with um, the wrought iron railings. You've got a cute little book reading nook here under the stairs. Let's look back toward the front door, which is glass. You've got all new hardware throughout the house and you come into the front living room, very wide, very spacious. You've got plenty of room for multiple seating arrangements, maybe even a desk at the end there. Recessed lighting's been added, painted top to bottom, inside and out. You've got these gorgeous oak floors downstairs and upstairs. There's a look back at the, back toward the foyer area. These are not built in, they are bookshelves, um, and they've also added the beautiful crown molding that you see, as well as replaced all the um, fixtures as well. Into the kitchen, just looking over into the sunroom, back in the kitchen, completely updated. You've got quartz countertops, a large farm sink, coffee bar area. Appliances are included, including the refrigerator. Let's look at these cabinets here. And then you've got great cabinet storage with double drawers and several of the drawer options. Microwaves on that side, and even a window looking out into the backyard. Also off the kitchen is a half bath set up there that was added. You also have a small breakfast area we'll see, as well as a great pantry. All the rooms have automatic lights um, in the closets. This is the breakfast room. It's a sunny little spot overlooking the front yard. Those are French doors, so you could add a patio out front. You've got an exposed brick wall here. There's a small step down into the sunroom. And this is kind of your big family hangout zone. This is the door that you will most likely enter every day. Um, and I'll look back towards the kitchen with the bar stool set up. You've got a closet over here, a utility closet that's got the well. Um, and some other utilities in it. And then this is the mud drop zone. You've got um, cabinet doors that are coming in this week and drawer um, bottoms there that will be coming on that match the kitchen. And then they've added shiplap and you've got a little bench set up, but beautiful natural light all overlooking the pool and pool house area. We come back through the kitchen, you can notice there's all kinds of storage on the back side of the island. Um, there's great custom cabinet details into the dining room. Again, all new lighting. This is a very long, spacious dining room. Overlooks the backyard here. Wow, what a view. An extensive patio and brickwork. Got tons of room, plenty of room for an additional built-in at the end. And this is the den, a calm room. Again, updated lighting. You can see the paneling in this room you back toward the pool back into the foyer entry and again I didn't note the brick detail work in the foyer you've got little drawers there lots of storage throughout this home next we're gonna see the master suite including the master sitting room this is the sitting room off the master or the office you can get a great view of that this is a large walk-in closet You've got room for a safe in here. Again, you can shut this door. That's a beautiful view out the front yard. But you can shut this door and keep this very private. Also a great space for a piano or music room or workout space um, off the master. So this is the master suite. You've got a large room, enough room for a king. Again, big, beautiful, bright windows. This room has a tray ceiling. And again, the recess lighting added as well, an all smooth ceiling. Has two walk-in closets. 
There's the his side with built-in shelves. And then the her side is in the updated luxury master bath. So here we are in the master bathroom. You've got a beautiful soaking tub with gorgeous views out the back window in that bay window space here. You've got a gorgeous vanity with marble countertops, all updated fixtures, lighting. You've got a beautiful shower with frameless glass door. Um, Beautiful tile work. You've got a rain shower head and wall shower head, a small bench on that side, and then you've got shampoo bottle access there. And then this is the her side of the closet space. Again, another big walk in with built ins, multiple racks. You've got built ins all on this side. Does have a private toilet room here in the master. This door goes through to the laundry space. So right off the master, super convenient. You've got side-by-side -side washer and dryer that do stay, and you've got lighting updated there, and a great little office nook or folding space. This would be a great space to have like a little folding table. And then you can immediately put things into what I call the family closet. This is such a great big closet space where you've got hanging space. You could hang all kids' clothes before they go upstairs in here. Great coat closet, multi-purpose. Back into the den. Now we're at the top of the steps. There are three bedrooms upstairs. One, two, three. And you've got two full baths. One here in this bedroom is private and one excess from the hall. This is the bonus room that was enclosed attic space. This is the only room with carpet in the house. No windows, so perfect game, playroom, movie room. You do have access into a walk-in attic space and there is a little additional attic space on the other end of the house as well. Bedroom number one upstairs. This is the smallest of the three. It does have a closet as well. And this is closet number one. You can have two kind of small racks in there. I love the big landing area here at the top of the steps and the fact that you can close off the playroom if it's a disaster, you can just close the door. Um, so it's a great space. And you could put additional closet space in this room as well. So then the hall bathroom, you've got two separate vanities. They added this beautiful detailing of the shiplap here. You've got gorgeous marble like tile floor, subway tile, the hand on porch subway tile, and it's a tub shower combination. The vanity is super cute. And there is a linen closet here behind the door as well. So this is bedroom. Number two upstairs, it's a large bedroom. This one's got two closets. This one's just a small kind of storage closet, but could definitely have more racks over the shelves. But then this one on this side is um, really nice and functional and you've got lots of built-in storage custom shelves. And then bedroom number three upstairs is the largest and it has the private bathroom. So you've got a really nice big room. You could have a window box there. And it's got um, its own private bathroom that's really cutely finished. You've got what I call the fish scale or mermaid tail towel that's really beautiful and has a really pretty iridescent sheen in person. Um, and then you have a separate little vanity here, sconce lighting, and then a walk-in closet in this um, bedroom. There is additional attic space behind this door and you could take those little rods down to get access. And that bathroom was added to the main house. Next, we'll head outside. Another look at the sunroom before we head outside. And again, this is the gate that you can come in and out of every day and you've got a little overhang over the doorway here. You won't get stuck in the rain. You've got a big, nice patio, expansive patio. The brickwork is really spectacular. But you could do an outdoor kitchen in this area. Lots of room for entertaining. You've got that beautiful scallop detail on the fence there. Heading out to the pool area.
What a beautiful spot. All the pulse around has been redone. It's cool creed around the outside stamp with a custom detail around the edge. Next, we'll see the pool house. So walking up to the pool house, you've got this great covered area outside, perfect for sitting in the shade and watching the kids play in the pool. The view back that way. And this is such a sweet little spot. I love this little dining area over here as well. So this is the pool house, the hangout zone, the man cave, the dog house, a little bit of everything. You could have, uh, it is a mother-in-law suite. It's a really great space. You've got a bar set up here, room for a little mini fridge. It's got vaulted ceilings, really beautiful ceiling height with the wood detail on the ceiling. And they've got it set up like a studio apartment where you've got beds and a sitting area and a little breakfast nook. And it has a full bath and a closet, so it really could work well for a mother-in-law suite. You've got the original shower, but they updated into the, that strip lap detail again over here. And um, of course, replaced all the fixtures as well. And I love this, even like the original um, shutters to close it off and keep it private. This is such a beautiful little like garden. You can kind of have a little kitchen garden over here, quarantine garden. But you've got a wonderful little spot. Could even be a little small dog run if you needed it to be. But this is the what they call the little library. But it's a great playhouse, and it's just a little escape for the kids. But it definitely could be just storage. You could make it a huge Christmas closet. It could be anything. It did have a little loft space in there. You could use it for storage for the horses. Which you here's a beautiful view of the backyard there. And we'll take a look at the pastures next. There's fencing throughout the yard. You've got a couple of different pasture areas, mature pecan trees, lots of natural shade. It's just gorgeous light coming through these trees. It's just a really magical spot. I'll look back toward the back patio. Little side yard. You've got tons of play space on this side. Two separate fenced pastures. And then you've got kind of this little utility barn here. And there is um, a small three stall barn in the back. It also has a dog kennel or chicken coop if needed. See, this is just storage. You've got the pool pump and things like that in there. They've planted some Leland Cypress in the back for privacy. This is the dog run here. You've got irrigation. I love all these ferns and the pecan trees. Another look at the back here. And here's our grand. This is another look at the main driveway coming off. It does split off into a little side parking area here. I love the new lanterns they picked. All new interior and exterior fixtures. But you've got great parking here right where you can go in to the side door. And then there's an additional detached three car garage or um, two car in a workshop area. And again, plenty of parking over here. And then there's a ton of storage up here above the garage as well. On both sides of the yard, so on the right side and the far left side, there are driveway accesses into the back um, pasture area. So there's one on this side, a gate on this side, as well as a double gate on the other side. And you can see the side driveway coming up as well.
we'll take a look in the garage now. Here we are back in the pool house. This is your access into your garage. It's a great spot for an extra refrigerator here, kind of a mud landing coming in through the garage. You've got a ton of a very large utility garage here. You've got some shelving on this side. There's a small closet over here with some hanging space and a sink and it does have electrical. And then on the far side, there's a huge workshop room, could be a great workout room, woodworking, but it does have a full garage door as well. They all have electric openers, except for this one on the back is a roll up here. And then you do have um, a large attic access up the stairs here with storage. I'll head back outside. Last look, this is Van Sice from the front yard and the road here. I'm gonna do a little pan around. There's a house that faces the other road, so you really don't have an across the street neighbor there. And you're just nestled under these beautiful pecan trees. Welcome home.